Hi, Tony here for Lightwave Digital. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to add PBR textures uh, in Octane for Lightwave 3D. So here's an example of the actual PBR textures that's added, and I'm going to go through how you add the different uh, texture passes to each one. So the first thing I did was I went on to here. So this is polyhaven and i went and got myself uh i think it's this one here actually i went and got a hdi that i can use and then i went on to freepbr.com and got myself some different uh pbr textures now with this i believe that when i went on i downloaded just the top one which is a unity one and you might get other passes with this when you get it and uh so, for instance, I didn't use uh, the AO pass on... There might be another pass. So you might not use them all. You use which ones you feel you need to use. So we'll go through that anyway and how I set it up with the background. So, as you can see here, I've got the actual textures on in my VPR for the GL. The only reason that it's like that is because... Obviously, they're just three spheres. They're all using the same UV. And what I've just done is I've just plugged in the colour into the Lightwave PBR, into Materials and into OpenGL, just so I can see it in here. Uh, that's up to you if you want to do that. I, I'm just saying that's the way I kind of went around doing it. So uh, just so I can see it in OpenGL. So if I go to Octane at the top tab, and I'm just going to go and enable the plugin first so we can actually uh, turn it on and then under the octane uh, ipr will open up the ipr and this is what you're going to get because obviously they're not textures the first thing i'm going to do is let's add a background so we'll go to uh, the render target and open the shelf and then we'll right mouse click and then what we'll do under the node setup we'll go for default setup which you'll get this kind of the default uh, kind of gradient sky from the environment light. But what we could do with this is we could uh, change this. In fact, we'll do. I'll change it to uh, a texture environment. So we're using this texture environment. And we'll also right mouse click and add the texture. What we're going to use. We'll double click it and then over here. Look, I'm just using this. Uh, section here is we'll add and load in the actual HDRI so we'll click load and I've put it here in my image folder uh, when it comes through it comes through quite bright so you have to adjust this and make the gamma 1 like so uh, and it's all set up for you so I'm happy with that so everything else I'm just going to leave for the time being we don't really need that but I'm just going to leave everything like that uh, let's just go to my camera and let me just pull my camera away a little bit. Just so I can see these a bit better, like so. And so what I'll do is I'll shift click on the IPR first texture. And this is what we've got. So what we need to do is we need to go over to the Octane Materials and we're going to put uh, the Universal Material here like so and obviously this can then be plugged into uh, material and then the next thing we need to do is we need to add some uh, texture nodes so octane texture nodes and the bottom one here look so we'll start with this um, we'll double click it we'll, we'll open it up here let's load up the first one so we'll start with the first one which was a grime alley brick we've got albino which is your diffuse or your color map let's open that up and we can plug that into the albino here uh, and when we do that if you click on it and stuff uh, and now i'm not 100 percent sure if we need to adjust these and to make it one it seems to that you have to do it because to make it come out so it looks right and stuff now with this it usually if we have a look, it'll usually go and let you use up to three UVs 
and there is a UV attached to this so it identifies it straight away and adds it for you like so. Uh, we'll leave it like this for the time you can change the scale later so what we're going to do is next is what we'll do is we'll right mouse click we'll copy and we'll paste so we're using all the same settings and then we'll load in uh, the next one from the green one which is let's, let's choose the uh, normal map and again uh, normal to normal like so I mean if we see it's quite you've got quite a lot of specs so if you come onto the specular here uh, you can adjust it so let's put this down to 30 and roughness to I mean we can make the roughness 30 as well so you get kind of this kind of thing here uh, now the next one I'm going to use as I'm with this one I'm going to just paste again and what I'm going to do is this time I'm going to load up the height map here there's an uh I'm in occlusion we're not using and there's um a brick metallic we're not using that either I don't even use it it's up to you if you when you download and what you want to use but I'm just going to use this now the height map like so and then what I need to do because this is going to be the displacement I need to use it as a displacement so under the octane displacement at the top here we'll grab this one we'll pull it over to texture and then we'll have the displacement into displacement now with this if we make sure we're on that object here and we go to properties up oh, camera here like so we're not using the light wave subdivision so I'm going to turn it off I'm going to go into under the actual object properties appearance and we're going to go down and choose the object octane properties double click it and where it says division level we'll put three in once you've done that if you go back to the actual object displacement you can decide on how amount of kind of this is going to put how much it's going to push your height map through so if we start if we put something like let's try 80 and then let's just zoom in and have a look and now you can see how it's kind of pushing through there like so and they can just go at the top if you click reset it or put it back through but again it's up to you and we'll try let's try 150 and then you've got all these bricks coming through like so which is quite nice and again then you can come back in and play with the settings if you wish that's up to you let's just clean this up a bit so that's the actual process so with the others as well so i'm going to do i'll do one more it's kind of the same process now to control them what you could do to control rather than going if i wanted to change the size of this going in each one and having to change the actual uv and each one of these you could use a scalar so if you go in and put uh look for scalar so sa sca scalar so this is the light wave one what you need to do is you need to plug this into the u and v scale for each one of these and this one then will control all of them at once so you don't have to mess about uh changing them one after another so then when you come in here as you can see it's currently set at one so if we put it in say 0 0.1 it changes them all if we put in say two and then they go bigger like so so that's the way you can change them all at the same time rather than messing about going in each one so once you've done this it's literally the same kind of setup for the other one so what we could do is we can highlight these we can copy them shift click and bring the new one up and then we can just paste them in like so and then we can just let's just move these over and i've actually missed adding the actual i've actually accidentally missed copying the actual uh, original octane material there we go so so really i should have just done that as well in fact if i delete these go back to here and just make sure i select all those be easier to just do it this way and then i've got it all here and then i can plug this in you'll get the same texture obviously and then you can just go through and just load the next one up so the next one let's do the space one uh, so we've got the albedo we 
just following it through again the space one uh, obviously we still you're gonna have to because we're on the second ball you're gonna have to set the sub patch level up for it oh because it's not going to be uh it's not going to be the same so basically uh if we come into go back down here make sure the second ball selected go to uh, the properties again appearance drop down octane properties double click and then put free well you probably don't need more than free in there what you would probably need to do on all over is you come in here and this is probably let's put something like uh, 50 mil in there i mean with this one uh, the metallic bit you can add it in yourself into it but there is with this i believe so let's make a gap let's just copy this node. so i'm copying one of these nodes so i've got all the same settings that's just why I'm doing it. Plug the scale on into here. And then this one, let's go and lo lob in the uh, metallic that comes with it. So we've added our uh, metallic map. Let's just put in the scalar to control everything. And then let's plug it into uh, metallic so we've got this and like i said it's just got a the only other thing is under the scale or if you haven't already done it it's 0 0.5 to make it like this you can come in uh to the different maps and play around with stuff so if you wanted to increase it i mean metallic two and so on and so forth depending on which one you want so i mean 2.2 i'm not going to make any difference well it makes it darker so it's a matter of knowing um, it's quite confusing because some are one and some are like 2.2 however you can just decide yourself by grabbing these little handles and it's playing around with what you think looks the best with this and then obviously i haven't done much with the light but i'm just saying that's kind of how you could do it you you can actually use light wave sub patch and what you would do is you wouldn't in the actual object folder here sorry the object properties we have put free in you wouldn't use this you would use light waves normal sub patch and the difference is what you do is you that the actual uh the actual displacement you would plug into uh displacement here and then in the actual properties you would turn on surface displacement and crank it up but i think you get a better result with the actual octane sub patch but again that's that's up to you to play around with but i'm just trying to pass on the kind of knowledge i've got i mean looking at this it does look like slightly scary however it isn't really it's just understanding what it is and practicing but I can say, have a, have a go and see how you get on and stuff. Hopefully, this is another tutorial. I keep, I'm going to, like I said, keep learning stuff, keep passing it on, keep bugging Simon Smalley, and uh, learn as much as I can and pass them on and stuff. Try and do something with lighting as well. Something so I can talk to you a bit more about the IPR window and, and then render. I mean, if you want to render currently, it's just F9, so if I press F9, uh, it will render them out. Uh, and I haven't really set up any render settings or anything it's just rendering them out with the default render kind of settings uh, and going through and stuff and based on what settings are on and like i said i've got an rtx i'm using a laptop an rtx uh, 370 uh, i think it's eight gig one and yeah it's about done and there you go and then it brings up the window and then you just as normally go to save it whatever you want and, uh, and look out for my next tutorial